All right, everybody. I'm live. <laughs> I've just gone through my pre-shave routine. I've got my pre-shave oil on. And day nine brings us to one of my favorite um, double-edged razors. Hey, what's up, Spot? How are you? And what's up, Zach Attack? This is the Edwin Jagger DE86. It's just beautifully crafted. Nice ebony uh, acetate, I believe, handle here. Beautiful chrome. Yeah, I've been wearing this on my face all day. I had to make a couple of stops, so I figured I'd just cover my bald head so you don't have to see that. I did not shave my hair, for those of you who want me to, but I'm not doing it, guys. <laughs> all right. Krewas Gaming. So we're going to go with this uh, very mild razor, nice DE for the beginner. I'm going to add a little bit more light on the subject. Whoa, maybe that's too much light. All right, great beginner's razor, nice and mild. I'm using the Gillette Premium or Platinum Blade, and I'm gonna lather up. But I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cheat today because I really like this Nivea Deep Clean Shave with the charcoal. So I'm gonna put it on with a brush, but it's gonna provide, it's gonna provide the lather. So I don't have to work too much. What's up, Mr. Mike Vance? Yeah, it is a beautiful, beautiful razor. And it's, you know, it's at a nice mid-entry level, mid-entry level price point. Not a bad pickup. Link below if you're looking to pick this up. Percy. You can't have Percy today. Because Percy's sleeping, and the last time I woke him up, he was like, don't do that to me, bro. He's had a rough day. All right, we're going to put on some, some lather. I'm using the fine FM brush. And I'm not going to hold back. I'm taking this brush, and I'm really pushing it, pushing the lather into those bristles. Guy told me the other day I was, I was being too much of a wimp. I really needed to show the brush who the boss was. So that's what I'm gonna do. That's what I'm gonna do. A little dry, could add some water. But nice. I'm the boss. Thank you, Vance. Now, this is a nice, mild razor, guys. And I need a mild day. Vance was worried about me the other day. He said, you need to take a break, bro. So, one more shave after today. Caitlin Vance, what's up? We're going to go with the grain today. As every day. Hair on your face grows down. So, you're going to use a 30-degree angle with short strokes. And this is just a nice blade. It's what the doctor ordered after eight days of shaving the face. A nice, mild, well-built, beautifully balanced razor. This is a nice razor if you have a more aggressive double edge and you wanted to use that for your first or, or second pass and you wanted to use this as your third pass and that'd be real nice. 
I'm using the Nivea Men Deep Clean with charcoal for you lather snobs I cheated today. Oh, this is nice, guys. Very, very nice. I went a little crazy with the with the lather. So hair on my neck is growing upward. I'm going to shave with the grain and shave upward. Oh. Very nice. It's a short handle. And it's not the most hefty razor, but there's just beautiful balance to it. And it's a nice mild shave, guys. I don't have a care in the world, but I have a weeper. Oh, I know what it was. There was a little white head there. A little white head there. I saw that during the pre-shave. Very nice. Pass number one is in the books. This is such a nice, soft, mild blade that I'm gonna go for three passes today. I'm gonna apply a little bit more lather. Ah. Not pussyfooting around. My boy told me, he said, don't, don't be a wimp. Just a little, a little bit more. Oh, I'm excited to really learn how to make my own lather, guys. Because these brushes are so nice. And it feels so nice. Ah, I'm going lather crazy. I've really enjoyed this series. I really enjoyed shaving every day, interacting with you clowns every day. It's been fun. I'm thinking of what series I can do next. I may do an ode to, look at me. I may do a, a Duke Cannon 10 day review of some of their products. What's up, Hunter? All right, second pass is gonna be your cross grain pass. So I'm gonna take this beautiful blade and go across the grain. Oh, you don't want to push it, guys. Just let the, the blade glide across your skin. I think it's Spot who always talks about... I think Spot's always talking about the balloon. Just imagine you're gliding that blade... across the surface of a balloon. And you're going with the contours of that balloon, guys. You don't want to pop it. No need to push it. Duke Cannon. They make some good stuff, boy. I have not tried the Cremo Bomb, aftershave bomb, I will. You know I will. Ah, uh, this is a this is a beautiful blade, guys. 
Someone asked me, I think it might have been Mr. Kaufman, asked me if I was going to rate these after I'm done. This is going to be towards the top of the group. But I've got a lot of things to do. This is the first Edwin Jagger I've ever purchased and shaved with. I'm going to get a Merker soon because they make some really nice products. I'd love to get myself a, a fat boy off eBay. You want the damn balloon spot? You've got a suggestion for live? Go for it, bro. Mr. Vance. I don't know that I'll do a drawing today. I might do a drawing tomorrow. Tomorrow's going to be the last day. That's nice, guys. What is it about shaving that we love? You wanna, you want me to tackle that topic? Is that what you're saying, Vance? All right, I'm gonna splash some warm water on my face. And we're gonna go with pass three. All right, Vance. Third and final pass, guys, is gonna be my against the grain pass. And this razor, is a great razor to use as your against the grain pass. Like I said before, if you had a, a more aggressive blade and for your last pass, you're against the grain, you wanna go real mild, this is a good one. It's also a good razor for the novice out there. That's why it's good for me. All right, here we go. Last and final pass. Oh yeah. Don't be afraid of the brush. Just get it all up into the bristles. Give you some comic relief for your day. Whatever works for you guys. Whatever works for you, brah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah yeah. IGT, where are you where do you live, bruh? What part of the country are you in? Are you out of the country? You live in New York. Oh that's good. You're a New Yorker, bruh. All right. I got my eye on you, IGT, because I got this. <laughs> B-man's on. Back, back at it. All right. Last and final pass. We're going to go with an against the grain pass. So hair on your face grows down. We're going to shave up. And this is your get right pass. Basically, you're just trying to get right. You don't want to do too much here. This is where people get into trouble. You notice Vance, not a lot of feedback going on today. This is a mild razor. Plus I've been shaving every day, so I've I'm not really shaving much off, but yesterday's shave. Without the blood. I had a little blood before, B-Man, you're late. I got a little, I nipped a little, a whitehead. Yeah, yeah, I like that, Felipe. You're right, bro. A Felipe. The winner of a beautiful leaf razor. You got to let us know when you get it, brah. I think Nick got his razor today. 
we're shaving down against the grain on your neck. And again, you're not doing too much. <laughs> I'm going to do, see, I did one. I did a shave one day where I didn't talk at all. And people were telling me they wanted me to talk. I thought that was one of the best reviews I ever did. Because I was quiet and it was just feedback for Vance. But then people were saying they wanted to hear my yapping, except for B-Man. All right, B-Man, here we go, bro. <laughs> We're going to get rid of the pronounced Adam's apple that I have. You're going to swallow hard and hold it. It takes the Adam's apple out of play and you can get to it. Feel around to see if I missed any spots, and I'll tell you what, guys, I really haven't. Maybe right here. Very nice, very nice blade, guys. I'm loving it. Edwin Jagger. Now I'm gonna close it off with that. Now I'm gonna... Got a call. Now I'm going to close it off with uh, some cold water, a splash of cold water. Oh, and that's nice. Nice and relaxing. So you're really into Bosch. You've been telling me, Bosch. I looked the the uh, trailer, and I wasn't like, I wasn't like in love with the trailer. But you you keep talking about it. I'm gonna have to. I'll watch an episode of Bosch tonight for you, Zach. I'm gonna watch an episode of Bosch tonight. Oh, that feels good. Now we'll finish it up as I always do. A message from the Duke. Duke Cannon. And his ice cold shave. And I'm going to try my damnedest to get someone from Duke Shave. What's up, Sachin? Do you like friends? I do like friends. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Thank you, Spot. Spot's going to hook me up with the GoFundMe page. Oh, yeah. That's nice. That's very, very nice. Feels good. Looks good. I, I was thinking about that, Zach. In fact, last time I was on, last live, I said, I'm thinking of doing a 10-day Duke Cannon um, review. They have so many different things. They have a series now called Thick Body Wash, which is, I haven't used it yet because I'm trying to avoid going out, you know, with this COVID stuff. You know, it make one trip a week and get everything you need. But they have a line of sandpaper mashed up into paste. Is that what the thick is? You never know what be, man. I don't know if you're, like, kidding. You're joking on me, bro. Um, they have a line of, of, of body wash. It's, it's called thick. And, I mean, the advertisements, the, the bottle is thick and... The one thing I hate about body wash is <laughs> Spot, you're heckling me. What are you, B-Man? Um, Spot wants me to start reading tarot cards and telling fortunes. Um, but anyway, they have this, this, this thick body wash. And the one thing I don't like about body wash is it's very thin. I like a good bar soap because it has a thick foam to it. And if the Duke Cannon thick body wash is great, then, you know, I'll, I'll let you know. 
10 days of Duke Cannon. And I'd love to try to get someone from Duke Cannon on with us so we can chat with them. Because it's just, to me, it came out of nowhere. I was at a Walgreens and I saw, picked up a, a bottle of something. And the marketing was just so snappy. I mean, they write some clever things. You know, they're not made for clowns. You see that? And another thing that's great about this is a portion of the proceeds go to support veterans. And I'm all about supporting the veterans. And this is an American made product. And I'm all about that too. Not saying I don't like other countries, but you know, supporting stuff made in America when you're living in America is a, is a cool thing. And supporting the veterans. Zach Attack is a veteran. You're a veteran, bro. Ah, uh, you're gonna get on, you're gonna be on my list, Zach Attack. What part of the country do you live in, Zach? Yeah, thank you, Zach. Houston, Texas. I'm finding that the good, good, some good folks are from Texas, boy. Jason Lutz from LootShop.com. Great guy. He was from, he's from Texas. Mark Fuentes, who won a, won, he won a brush. He's from Texas. Shout out to all you folks from Texas. Everything is bigger in Texas. You were in the army for 11 years. All right, bro. Well, thank you for your service. Zach Attack. So uh, Mike Vance said, what do we love about shaving? I mean, I, I can do a whole... You love Texas. I love Texas, too. There's a, a hospital. Herman Memorial. I think it's called Herman Memorial. Or Memorial Herman in Texas. And I did some work at that facility when I was in corporate America. Spent some time in Texas. Going to school. So are you familiar, Zach, with Bucky's? Are you in a part of Texas that has Bucky's? That's a, it's a great hospital, man. Big Green Octopus, what do I do for work? I'm in marketing. I, I make a video. So that's kind of, you know, it's kind of, kind of goes with the YouTube stuff. Bucky's. Daniel Hannon, you've never been to Bucky's, bro? Dan Han. You got to look at my video about Bucky's. If you're in certain parts of Texas, I don't know if it's all over Texas, but Bucky's is the is like a gas station mega convenience store on steroids. You go into that store back when we could go into stores and they have everything in that store you could ever want. They have gas, of course, 50 or 60 gas pumps. They have, yeah, the bathrooms are clean. You could like eat off the bathroom floor. The largest gas station in the world. They have 50 varieties of, of beef jerky. I had garlic beef jerky. I mean, anything you could want. They have grilling, grilling stuff outside. Fishing gear, camping gear, anything you, you want. Pillows, t-shirts, food, candy, aisles of candy, aisles of popcorn, all different flavors of popcorn for Spot. Because I know Spot's always talking about the popcorn. Balloon Spot. Bucky's is the place. Texas has some great food. And Texas, yeah, Texas is a good place to be. Lower taxes, I believe. more land than in New York. Maybe I'll move to Texas. Beef sandwich. 
So why do we love shaving? Yeah, we'll, we'll come up with a whole live about why do we love shaving. Where do I live? I'm, I live on Long Island in New York. So I'm about 30, 32 miles. Do I mean Bucky's? Yes, Bucky's. Bucky's. Favorite music. I like all music. Lump? I... <laughs> Oh man, I like it all. There's not too many types of music that I can't, if it's good, it's gotta be good music. If it's good music, I like it. Texas is starting to open already, yeah, all right. Just do it safely, bro, you gotta take care of yourself. Cause you don't wanna relapse. But I really, I really enjoyed this series, and I really enjoyed this. We've got one more shave to go, guys. And I'll just give you a little preview of it. This is a Vikings blade. It's called the Chieftain Junior. Very nice kind of gun metal. Looked a lot like the long handle Vanderhagen I had. It's got the butterfly clasp. See that? It's a beautiful blade. Nice heft to it as well. When you get up close on it, it's different than the Vanderhagen in this area. You'd like to win the Vikings blade. All right. Well, you're still in it, bro. You are still in it. See that? This will be tomorrow. This will be my last, my last blade for this series. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to come up with some, some new stuff. I'm going to take a break from shaving. And maybe I will get into the Duke Cannon stuff. But I'll tell you something, guys. Maybe I'll show you this. And I have to check to see if this is still available on Amazon. This bird purifying shampoo made in California. This is, this is some expensive shampoo. Salty coconut. And just smells great. It's got red algae, green tea, aloe vera, and sea salt from the Pacific Ocean. Purifying shampoo, sulfate-free, paraben-free, if you're into all that stuff. And this company, Bird, they make some great products. This shampoo is made in California. Made in USA. Made in California. It's just, it's a beautiful shampoo. It's the type of shampoo you, if you're going out somewhere, or if you're getting close up, you know what I mean? You put this on and you smell like a beautiful coconut and it just leaves your hair nice and mm. All hair types, even bald types, like me. If we can still get this, if it's still on Amazon, maybe this will go into my next series. And maybe I'll be giving some lucky viewer some of this. And maybe we can get Bird on to talk about their products. It's good stuff. It smells of, of a nice coconut smell. So tomorrow I am going to be doing a live drawing. We're going to be giving away. And I said I was going to give away another... Uh, I was going to give away the Emperor Augustus. So maybe we'll do that tomorrow. Here it is. It's beautiful. Vikings Blade Emperor Augustus. And it gets a little catchy, but there you go. Butterfly open. Adjustable. Low setting one to three. Mild setting four to six. And your aggressive setting seven to max. So what's nice about this is you can start your shave off on the aggressive side and 
slowly wind down like sandpaper, right? It's got this beautiful antique bronze look to it, and it's hefty, guys. It's a long handle, and it's fat. So maybe I'll raffle that off tomorrow. It's my, this is my favorite double-edged razor so far. Just beautiful. And if you don't get that blade in correctly, it won't close, which ensures that you get good blade placement. Another thing about this, guys, is it has two sides, two combs. You got a scalloped side or a scalloped comb, if you can see that, the ridges there, and you got a flat side. The flat side is much more mild, and that's an aggressive style. That's the aggressive side. So you can even dial down the aggressiveness by using that flat side. So if you went with a one and the flat side, it's really pretty mild. Good for all types of shavers. So if you're new to the, to the DE shaving game, this is the razor for you. And if you're an advanced shaver, this is the razor for you too, if you like a nice hefty uh, razor. So tomorrow for the last chapter of the series, I'll be giving this away. I may give a brush or two away. And I want to thank each and every one of you who's watched this series. I want to thank the show sponsors for the series. It's been good. It's been fun. One draw today, maybe. I, G -T I got this. You want me to draw today? What do you want me to draw for? IGT. You want me to draw for a brush? What's up, GB the bull? All right, I'll draw for a brush. Since it's IGT, I got this. Which one do you like the traditional Synthetic Badger, or do you like the... The Retro 3D. The 3D. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna do a drawing for the brush. Right now, I gotta go get the box. guys are pushing me to draw today. All righty. You just, you know it's going to be Vance. It's going to be Vance, guys. All righty. There we go. All right, we're going in. We're going in. We go. All right, I'm going for the bottom. I've got one. I've got one. Uh, let me do that again. So you don't think I pulled one. I got to go in and pull it out. Can't leave the camera. This has got to be legit. I'm going in. All right, here we go. It's, it's in the frame. I don't know who's, whose card I have. Oh, oh, I lost all the, up, 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 up. I lost a bunch of a bunch of cards. All right, here we go. Slippy fingers. Here we go. All right. <laughs> Steve Hayes. Edgardo Gonzalez. Edgardo Gonzalez, you are the winner of an FM brush. Congrats to Edgardo Gonzalez. And I'm taking him out, and I've wet a few. I don't think they're, I think they'll dry out. Oh no, oh no. Oh, all right, I'm gonna have to lay these guys out. The game's ruined, guys. <laughs> the, game's, the game is ruined. <laughs> I'm going to have to clean up and try to figure out how I get, yeah, you, yeah, IGT. 
The game is ruined. All right, come back tomorrow. It'll be my, my last, it'll be my last day. Don't worry about these. I'll, uh, I'll let them dry out and I'll rewrite them up and throw them in. Butterfingers, you're right. <laughs> Edgardo, my boy, I will have to send, I don't think he's on today. I'll have to send you a note. And I want to thank each and every one of you for watching. As usual, be here tomorrow. I'm not sure when. I'm going to do another live. We're going to do another live drawing. We're going to be giving away the Vikings Blade, Emperor Augustus, and really wrap this series up. And I want to thank you guys again. Hope you, everybody has a great night. Keep pushing. Andrew Motes, he's a winner. Just arrived. He's a winner via Mr. Mike Vance. But you guys keep pushing play, and we'll see you tomorrow. All right, guys? Keep pushing play.